All right, well, this particular lovely lady here, this one was a challenge. Big time, getting the color scheme right. In fact, uh, I have a uh, other version of it down there that uh, I had been. Uh, probably salvaged the canvas, but that said, uh, this right here is uh, quite tough. There's a uh, number of different simple layers here, almost kind of like a screen printing effect. That's that's the style I was going for. And the hot pink there on the lips, <clears throat> I used here in the track line, which is the line that goes around the character, which really makes it pop. I left the background pretty simple, which is some of these kind of cool bluish ice crystals popping out of the background and, and a few uh, um, doodads kind of call them, uh, but uh, we made some nice kind of uh, uh, flowing hair happening. Um, really wanted to keep uh, a limited amount of, of the, the, the dark from inside of the face so that it's, it was really a soft kind of blend uh, between all of the different layers, but, uh, but, but figuring out these color schemes to go from this kind of a, a burnt purplish to this burnt kind of oranges to something that's more of a a skin tone to a really pale one it was really tough to find the the, the, the right uh, color pattern um, that, that made me feel happy about it but uh, when I look at it uh, uh, here now I haven't finished it I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really uh, pleased with it I, I didn't do a lot of layers inside of the different colors I wanted to keep them very very simple very uh, the palette very uh, clean uh, without too much busyness going on in the face and the hair obviously I'm gonna have about four different kinds of uh, browns also trans a transparent one to give it to, uh, some depth and everything so uh, that's the latest and the greatest um, I got another one coming up soon hope you enjoy it thank you for the commission